We're back with a new study that might have you thinking twice about reaching for that sweet treat at the grocery store. Research shows that dark chocolate products sold at major retailers may contain high levels of heavy metals like lead, cadmium, even arsenic. Though we want to mention, while those levels were high, none of them reached the maximum allowable dose for human consumption. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Kavita Patel joins us now for more on this. Dr. Patel, good morning. So how worried should we be about the heavy metal level in dark chocolate? Can it potentially cause serious damage to our bodies? Yeah, any amount of lead that's above kind of what the FDA deems is an acceptable exposure. And in this case, they found that 43% of the chocolates they tested in California were above that acceptable level of lead are just not great for developing brains, especially young children, but for any adult. So it just goes to say that you should do all of this with moderation. And, and in moderation, it's likely not that dangerous. So we should note the FDA doesn't set limits on heavy metals in most foods, which is something that when I read this morning kind right. of raised my eyebrows a little bit. So how can we be sure that we are limiting our own exposure to these chemicals? Is there a surefire way to avoid them in our daily diets or maybe avoid excessive amounts? Yeah, and I think that the way to avoid an excessive amount is by avoiding eating an excessive amount, Joe. I know that seems intuitive, but what might surprise people is that it can be even a third of a candy bar that can result in that, quote unquote, excessive amount. So it's a small amount. Darker chocolates tend to have higher amounts of lead. If people are wondering, is there certain brands, we can go into that. But you usually need a third party, like Consumer Reports, where you can kind of look at some of the brands. And it might surprise people who might think, well, organic might be better or inorganic might not be. But you need to just moderate how much you eat. And especially if you're younger, we need to make sure that they are not eating high amounts of this chocolate. You know, there are consumers who are worried about the quality of their food. and They often turn to organic options right. as a way to reduce the risk of ingesting these heavy metals. Are organic foods screened for toxins, metals like this? What should people know? So these, this study did include organic foods, and they did find higher levels. Again, this is somewhat surprising to most people because they make choices, just as you mentioned. So they did find higher levels of both lead and cadmium in the organic chocolate as well. So it's not just choosing organic and you can eat more than that third of a candy bar a day. You need to watch all your consumption. And people wonder how this happens, Joe. It's usually in the processing of the cocoa, the cacao bean that kind of goes into what you make chocolate with from soil and kind of contamination and handling. It's not that the chocolate or the cacao itself has the lead inside of it. So now we need to understand how can we limit that exposure, but that's gonna take time. In the meantime, limit your personal exposure. All right, Dr. Kavita Patel, always good to have you with us. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.